and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of January 2019 Love and Finance reading. I'm going to be starting out with the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue and we'll do love first and then move into finances next with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed so, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Taurus with clearly defined messages regarding love for the second half of January 2019. Wow. So, right off the bat, we have a strong magnetic attraction for a Taurus energy. In the thoughts position of the Celtic spread, this Taurus is being told to open their heart and to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. So this Taurus is thinking about love when it comes to a strong magnetic attraction. Now in the foundation of the Celtic spread, we do have a situation involving marriage and or partnership. This Taurus could be contemplating a commitment in the past they were needing to heal and to release what did not serve them to forgive and to learn what the old connection or connections were meant to teach them about themselves and because this Taurus forgave and learned released and healed they opened themselves up and some were blessed with a strong magnetic attraction so by the third week of january 2019 this particular taurus is being guided to not become completely focused and dependent when it comes to this attraction you are to Remain an individual in that connection. To not get lost and lose oneself in the connection to another, but to appreciate the connection for what it is. This Taurus has uh, the ability to control the growth the spiritual and the deeper connection of this magnetic attraction to not become completely focused on just the outward attraction of this connection but to reveal more of themselves to this connection Spirit saying that there has been the stirring of romantic feelings for this Taurus. And they're saying it is safe to love. But they are suggesting that this Taurus understand that it is indeed deeper than just the outward sexual part of the attraction. This Taurus, in their hopes and fears position, is hoping to continue a playful connection with another. Now, if someone is connecting with another who is already in a partnership, or if this Taurus is already in a partnership, it is okay to be playful. But you are being guided to not lose yourself in that playful connection in the second half of January 2019. Because by the end of January 2019, going into February, there is some form of forgiveness. Forgiveness. 
it may be that this Taurus is being guided to make a deeper commitment. And that this deeper commitment is going to involve some healing when it comes to their past, their friends, their family, the way others may have been handling love. There is a deep lesson here for this Taurus to really go deep and to not focus just on the outward part of the connection, that it has got to be deeper. And that process may involve the forgiveness of someone. Some Tauruses may be angry yet about or confused about how they learned about love. Therefore, they have acquired an addiction. But they need to remember that they already healed and learned in the past. And to continue to forgive what may have taught them to love incorrectly. So in a three-card summary to my left with the same Romance Angel deck. The third week of January 2019 is being represented by the heart-to-heart -heart conversations energies. There may be some Tauruses that have not released a person from the past or released a situation from the past that made for them to love more on the surface, to not open up. Therefore, they're be being guided to love themselves first, to understand that there is so much more to you, Taurus. They're asking that you keep an open mind and to not force things too quickly when it comes to a strong and magnetic attraction. Yes. They're saying by the end of January 2019, it is a time to disconnect and to know that once the chemistry has dissipated as it will that your prayers your affirmations and your visualizations of staying with another will bring you together in the right way Again, we have a Taurus who is thinking of past deceptions, past relationships, and they're being guided to free themselves and to take back control over their thoughts, their addictions, incorrect thinking. Because indeed, this particular Taurus may have met the right one. If you're single. So it's a time for the Tauruses to really just think through the deeper part of the connection. There will be a lot of playfulness and we don't have to worry about the magnetic outward attack, attack attachment because it's deeper than that. And I think that's what they're learning about themselves, this Taurus energy in the second half of January 2019. So let's look at finances. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, by using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed Finances, please. For Taurus is Sun, Moon, or Rising. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. For the second half of January 2019. Now, some Tauruses with the round and round energies are repeating unhealthy cycles when it comes to career and finance. 
but they've also learned a lot about themselves in the financial arena. So in your thoughts, whomever, whichever Taurus this is, you may come to the realization that what you were doing before financially is not serving you in the highest, best way. So Spirit is giving this Taurus some time in the second half of January 2019 to think about what didn't work and what will work in a better way financially in the past. In 2018, this particular Taurus energy was blessed. They were blessed with many opportunities to make money. With good opportunities to make maybe a lot of money. But now by the third week of January 2019, this Taurus is being asked to clean it up. To clean up your path of negative people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments. And to not repeat old cycles of negativity. For you have been reborn. And you have control over, with the by the book energies, doing things in the right way. So clean up what wasn't working. Take some time to think about the highest best way to create financial abundance. Spiritual advice is saying it's a time to mend and heal from unhealthy decision making. And in the love and romance position, I mean, I'm sorry, hopes and fears position of the Celtic spread, they may be fearing the changing of their ways. But in the outcome position, after much thought by the end of January 2019, this particular Taurus with the to be fair energies is starting to understand which path is the most balanced and fair path, not only for others around them, but for themselves. So in a three card summary, Spirit saying in the second to third week, there are soulmate energies and a message. There could be a Taurus who has been blessed and is starting to realize that through new communications, new offers, new opportunities, that they are connecting with the right people and are stepping into the right direction. With the Chop the Wood Energy Spirit is saying it's time to do the work. And if you've been doing the work, that which you have been setting when it comes to your goals and intentions are going to make you very happy. They're offering you the building blocks energies to do things by the book and to manifest a solid foundation when it comes to home, when it comes to finances, when it comes to career. This process is not only going to build a solid foundation beneath you to extend into the future, but is also going to change you and make you a stronger person within. Kind words, messages, offers, opportunities are set to come Taurus's way by the third or fourth week of January 2019. And this Taurus is going to know when the doorway opens that they have changed and let go of old addictions, old people, old places, old circumstances and environments, and that it is time to move forward. That what they were doing before wasn't working. That it wasn't for them. But truth be told, if they clean their path of negativity, blessings will come. If they let go 
of chaotic situations, circumstances, or people. Spirit is going to bring balance. And it's all going to be happening according to divine timing. So pray to spirit in the second half of January 2019 to free you, you, you of conflictive and chaotic energies of the past. As you communicate with new people, as you contemplate who by which is the right person, circumstance, or situation with whom you can co-create with. There will be a deep knowing that this new path, this new journey, when it comes to finances and career, is a more balanced path. And it's a path that will make you feel not only very proud and happy because of your choices, but will make you feel content and secure. There's been quite a journey here. All that glitters is not gold, was the lesson. And now spirit is helping to give you new life in a more balanced direction, in a direction that was meant to be. So take your time to clean yourself, your atmosphere, your environment of negative thinking, negative people, negative places, circumstances, and situations. And know that as you do, as you free yourself from that inner conflict and old behaviors and patterns, blessings are set to come your way and lead you into a balanced path ahead. So let's go ahead and close by pulling one card from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Taurus, please. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Closing message, word of prayer for the second half of January 2019. Make a commitment. I will let go of that which is not good for me. I will let go of old behaviors and patterns. I will open myself up to what is in my highest best good. And I will trust that spirit will bring me balance and joy. So the prayer for Taurus is for the second half of January 2019 is... Archangel Michael as the angel of courage and confidence... I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow for me to commit myself, my life, and my, to commit myself to my life and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so that I can fully open my heart to every experience. If you'd like a personal reading, and there will be a favorable outcome for those who will open yourself to more. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my price list is below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.